North East Tonight brought to you by Oil India Limited conquering newer horizons Welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. Union Home Minister Amit Shah announced in the Rajya Sabha on Wednesday that a countrywide NRC exercise will be carried out and that Assam will also be a part of the mega move. This means there will be a fresh NRC listing in Assam. But viewers, the Union Home Minister has also said that people whose names are missing from the Assam draft list have the right to go to tribunals constituted across Assam. Significantly, Amit Shah added that those who cannot afford lawyers to go to a tribunal will be provided financial help by the Assam government. A total of 19 lakh names have been left out of the final Assam NRC published on the 31st of August. Several questions arise. If Assam is to be part of the upcoming nationwide NRC exercise, why should the 19 lakh people whose names did not favor in the final NRC go through the legal process of moving the foreigners' tribunals now? If there is to be a fresh NRC exercise in Assam, will everyone have to go through the entire process all over again? Perhaps not. Besides, the BJP-led government in Assam has been demanding that the current NRC be rejected, that is scrapped. In the absence of clarity on this, confusion reigns supreme. To discuss the subject, I am joined from Gohati by ASU Chief Advisor Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji. From Aizol, I am joined by Professor Jay Dongal from Mizoram University. I am joined from Silong by the Khasi Students' Union President Donald Thaba. Mr. Abhijit Sharma, President of the Assam Public, Work, Public Works, is with me in Guwahati. In Imphal, I have Ningthosa Lancha, convener of the Northeast Forum for Indigenous People, and K.H. Drebabrata, Congress spokesman. I am joined from Guwahati University by Professor Akhil Ranjan Datta, and at our studios in Guwahati, I have Assam BJP spokesman Swapna Neel Barua and Arunav Goswami, assistant director at the Center for Development and Peace Studies, a leading think tank. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. First of all, I'd like to go to you, uh, Mr. Abhijit Sharma, fresh NRC for Assam. So everything all over again, cues, documents, visit to Seva Kendras, all over again, rerun. Abhijit Sharma. Yeah, we are welcoming the whole process again. In our affidavits, we have written that to stop the process, to do an inquiry by CBI, ED, and NI. And when the All India process, the NRC will be published all over the country, then we are demanding to uh, include Assam also. And yesterday, the Home Minister said the same thing, that NRC will be published again in Assam. Now the question is, now, people may think that, again, harassment, again, stand on the queue, documents, verification, lots of things may come again. But I want to clear it from your channel that there is a clause 4 and 4A. 4 is implemented in, in all over the country. According to 4, people, the government officers will come to their ha our house and they will verify and collect the documents. And in Assam, it is 4A. We have to go and apply. So if four, and already there is a case going on in Supreme Court where we, APW, we are saying that 4A is ultra violent for Assam. And we hope that if 4A is scrapped before the process, then all right. I think there all will be right. no harassment all right. for the Abhijit Sharma, hold on your thoughts. I'm coming back to you. Viewers, what Abhijit Sharma is talking about, 4A and 4. You know, let me tell you for the, for the sake of the viewers that the present NRC in Assam that was just concluded was done under Club 4A of the uh, Unique Identification Authority of India rules, basically. So that requires, that is an application process where there was no house to house enumeration. That is what the APW leader is saying. He said that they want this clause scrapped. Now, Article 4, Clause 4 of the Unique Identification Authority of India rule says that there has to be a house to house enumeration that brings the question whether the present NRC will be completely scrapped or whether there will be some re verification in the form of a house to house enumeration and then it will be merged with the national wide NRC. We don't know yet, but these are only speculations. Let me go to you, Dr. Akhilranjan Datta. You know, all over again, 
Now the question is, even in Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah is talking of a nationwide NRC. That means an NRC in the entire country. That means an NRC involving 130 crore people. Many are already arguing that you could not produce the system. The government could not produce an NRC correctly of three crore people in Assam. How will it be possible to come up with an accurate or correct NRC for 130 crore people? What do you think? I, I think this is a politics of diversion. The government has been extremely, you know, they have been in a, uh, in a very bad shape in terms of meeting the substantive requirements of the people. The GDP is down. Unemployment is in a big scale. You know, there is no employment opportunities. They have not been, been successful in, you know, meeting the day-to-day -day requirements of the, the people. Issue. In such a desperate Don't situation, the to divert the attention of the Don't people, politicize the, divert the Don't attention politicize of the people. The issue. Yeah. Don't politicize the issue. My question is, if, you, if there is an incorrect NRC, that is what the Assam government leaders are saying, that is what the ruling party is saying, that the NRC which has just been produced in Assam is not a correct document. Uh, how, my question is simple. How challenging will it be to produce a correct NRC for 130 crore people? Okay, no, no, that, that, that is what I am telling. If you do not have a correct NRC, you can you, you can you can you can make correction. There can be re-verification. Why a fresh NRC? Why a fresh NRC? We need. We don't need a fresh NRC. As far as NRC for the whole country is concerned, I, I don't think we do not need such an NRC because you have lot of documents to verify the citizenship. Government has been talking about other card. Government has been talking about taking lot of other measures to ascertain. All right, that hold these on, are the hold people on. Who are the I've got a very big country. panel. Hold on if, your thoughts, you Dr. Kilranjan Dutta. Yeah. Hold on your thoughts. Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji joins me, Chief Advisor of ASO, Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji. How, how do you look at this exercise, the proposed plan of the government to have a nationwide NRC? Is it going to be a challenging task or not? See, uh, in case of Assam, NRC is not a new thing. In 1951, NRC was prepared from Assam movement days. We had demanded to update that. So as per Assam Accord, as per law of the country, Supreme Court had monitored the whole process. We had NRC, but we are not happy with the result. There is some error, so we are appealing before the Supreme Court of India for remedial measures so that we can have an illegal foreigners named correct NRC. So for whole of India, there is provisions, provisions in the law and on behalf of Northeast student organization, we are demanding NRC for Northeast. The statewide modality may differ, but we want NRC in Northeast. For whole of the country, the provision is there. So it is already late. The provision is very clear. Right. The, for whole of the country, the provision is now, that there should be house to house enumeration based on that NRC will be prepared. Yes. Now, in case of Dr. Assam, in case of Assam, by inviting application yes. based on 51 NRC and NR, 51, 71 electoral NRC will be updated. Right. Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji, uh, you know, the, the ruling party in Assam, the BJP in Assam, the top leaders, they are saying that the present NRC should be completely scrapped and rejected. Uh, they are not interested in having anything to do with the present NRC. Uh, so my question is, it has been a Supreme Court monitored exercise. It, will it be so easy and simple to completely scrap the present NRC? Whether it is the cabinet decision of Union of India, because it is under RGI, under Home Ministry. Whether it is a cabinet decision of Assam government, we do not know. Because Assam government and central government have filed their affidavit in the Supreme Court for remedial measure, for re-verification. So on 26th of November, the hearing will take place. ASU is not for scrapping the NRC, ASU is for remedial measure, for removing the errors. And uh, we should have a Bangladesh's name fee correct NRC under the supervision of the Supreme Court of India, based on Assam Accord and law of the country. Because Indian government, the External Affairs Ministry, had said to the people of the globe that it is under law and it is under the supervision of the Supreme Court of India. There should not be any contradiction. So, there is no clarity in what you said. My question is, are you in favor of the present NRC being scrapped? No, I have already told you. We are not. We are not rejecting the present NRC. We are. We have said we are not happy. There, there is error. So there should be a remedial measures. 
uh, and for that we are appealing before the Supreme Court of India for immediate measures so that we can have a okay, illegal Bangladeshi Nipi That is, that is, that is a very important under Supreme Court's monitoring. That is a very important important statement coming from the ASU chief advisor. ASU is not in favor of complete rejection, but ASU wants remedial measures. That is a very important point you are making. Dr. Bharsarji, please hold on. I am just coming back to you in a few minutes. Uh, Mr. Ningtoza Langcha, uh, the the president of the NEFIP in Manipur, Ningtoza, how, how do you see this whole demand for a whole plan for a nationwide NRC in, as stated by Mr. Amit Shah yesterday? Ningtoza. Okay, we do feel that, you know, uh, extending NRC throughout the entire region is, a, is, is really a good step, but we should also consider, you know, the differences that lies between the different uh, political uh, realities that uh, throughout the uh, country as well as especially in the in the northeast region actually so far you know we are confused you know because at this particular juncture where people are very much uh, fighting against the cab why they are uh, they have the distinct desire to introduce to extend energy you know so it makes all the confusion. So if they really they are serious enough or they are sincere enough to to uh, to introduce such kind of uh, policy, you know, then they must scrap CAB first, and then after that they can I mean uh, this thing extend NRC. Not only uh, this thing, you know, but the, we okay. are really got your, got uh, your we sense. worry Ningtoza, about the. Got your sense. Hold your thoughts. Hold your thoughts. So Ningtoza Lancha. A president of the NEA, convener of the NEFIP, Northeast Forum for Indigenous People, an important uh, group in Manipur. They're saying basically that give up the idea of cap first before no, coming up a, with an NRC based, not Manipur. across yeah. the country. Sorry? Okay, so that is what Ningtoza is saying. Give up the idea of cap first <coughs> before coming up with a nationwide NRC. Donald Thaba of the Kasi Students Union. Donald, what is your view on this whole idea of a nationwide NRC? Donald. Uh, uh, at first, I would like to say that uh, the nationwide NRC, we are not sure what kind of, what is that uh, nationwide NRC? Because uh, you see, as they say that India is a diverse country. So one state differs from another state. You can see the customary laws and we differ politically, socially, economically. We differ in a lot of things, the customary laws and everything. So I believe that if that nationwide NRC is to be conducted by Delhi, in which the powers will be in Delhi, then we, will, we cannot agree with that because, you All know, right. the All right. Students Union... Hold on. Hold on. When the NRC, NRC was being implemented in Assam, yes. we also demanded an NRC in Meghalaya. But we used the term NRC like exercise because uh, we don't want an NRC which is similar to Assam to be implemented, to be exercised in Meghalaya. We want an NRC which will be in sync with the mod modalities, with the current situation in Meghalaya. Okay, you are, you are not particularly interested in NRC, but you want an NRC-like exercise in Meghalaya. That's what you were saying. NRC-like exercise in yes, Meghalaya. Yes. Uh, okay, you are yes, not rejecting yes, the whole absolutely. idea of NRC, but you want something on similar lines. But I'm, three of my panelists have not spoken yet. But Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji, the mood point, when we are talking about a nationwide NRC, one of the, the most important point is that of the cutoff year. The present NRC in Assam was based on 1971 as the cutoff year because that was the cutoff date Hello. in the Assam Accord. But now, Hello. now, can you hear me, Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji? Hello. Okay, Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji cannot Hello. hear me. Dr. Bhattasarji cannot hear me. Uh, K. H. Debabrata, Congress leader from Manipur. Debabrata, what is the Congress stand in Manipur on the NRC? Devabrata. Let us fix the line to Dr. Bhattasarji. Yes. Devabrata. Okay, we are wasting time. Let's go to Professor Dongel in Mizoram. Professor Dongel, nationwide NRC. What do you think? Possible worries in your mind? Professor Dongel. Yes. Yeah, was Bill. The... President and the government has tried from before about this NRC, but 
In case if this NRC is introduced, will is there many contradictions like the cut of year, which should be used as the cut of year? Then, not only that, there are some other contagious issues. So, yeah. in case if NRC has been enforced throughout the country, will not anarchy being welcome in the country? I think that should also be taken into account. And the most problematic thing is that uh, there is problem with regard to the cut of year. So which cut of year should be used? And that's why, particularly in northeast, people of the north northeastern part of the country, okay. they are in dilemma. Cut of year. Which cut of year uh, should be used in the national energy? Arnav Goswami, what are your thoughts on the cut of year? Because yeah. the present cut of year was 1971. That was because it was the basis of the Assam Accord. Now, if there is a nationwide NRC, what should be the cut of year, or, or what could be the cut of year? Yeah. Here, the thing that's come into mind, because if it's 1971, there are two dates which has to come. Either it's 1948, just after India independence, other is 1951. And here you have to see, suppose the Pan-India NRC, the cut-off date is fixed at 1951. The Assam NRC will immediately turn null and void because there is a 20 years gap where many people have become part of the Assam NRC. So, if the Assam NRC, if the cut-off date for the All India NRC is changed to before 1971, Obviously, the exercise has to be retaken again in Assam. Exercise has to be retaken. Uh, Mr. Sopnanil Barwa, you know, now the question is, your government is now saying, your leaders, top leaders of your party in Assam are saying that present NRC should be scrapped because you don't consider it as a correct document. Now the issue is, now my question is simple. It's, it was a Supreme Court monitored exercise. That means, are you, are you leveling a question mark on the Supreme Court, number one? Number two, Although the NRC was monitored by the Supreme Court, it was executed by the officials and employees of the government of Assam. Do you consider it as a system failure, actually? In the, in the, I mean, would you admit that it was a system failure? Well, Wasmir, I think uh, the question of system failure is not uh, the appropriate word. It may be because of the modalities being the first kind of a thing, and there were a lot of amendments all throughout the process as a result of which the cutting edge employees may not have been so accustomed to the whole idea. But then all exercises begin this way and it was a gigantic exercise as you all know involving the nearly the whole population of Assam. All of most of them who had applied, nearly three crore had applied for that exercise. Yeah. And so considering all that I think uh, although our leaders are saying it is, they are just uh, voicing the concern that th this is not an accurate thing and that over the years we'll have to take certain corrective steps which will make the document much more acceptable and i so so you 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 are trying to put the blame on the modalities you it, are trying to but no, but the, the modalities modali but the Assam no, government could I have moved uh, moved the correction of the modalities no modalities in the sense not per se what was laid down in the modalities but implementation of the modalities to, through these you know, 10 lakh people, officials that were involved. It is a very difficult exercise. And if you look at the election process of India when it was first introduced and how elections have been corrected, the correction process keeps on going every okay. day. New issues gives new. rise to new problems. New problems gives to rise so to amendments. There, there are a lot of questions. Uh, there will be a lot of questions for you, uh, Mr. Sopranil Barwa, as the spokesperson of the ruling party, you have to answer. But if Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji is on the line, let me go to Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji very quickly. I'm coming to you, Mr. Devabrata, Congress leader in Imphal. Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji, the moot point now, if there is a nationwide NRC, the key question will be what is going to be the cut of year? In Assam, the cut of year was 1971 because that was the that was the cut off date in the Assam Accord. But if in the national context, what should be the cut of year? Uh, according to you, because it, there has to be an uniform cut of year if we are talking about a nationwide NRC. Dr. Patsarji. See, see, we had NRC, Assam had NRC, 1951 NRC, it was updated. The 1951 NRC updated, uh, taking 71 electoral as a base year, as per Assam Accord. In other parts of the country, there is no NRC. We should not confuse that. Our NRC is updated NRC. On the other hand, I like to clarify it by bringing cap. The central government is trying to make NRC irrelevant. That cannot be acceptable. They want to give citizens who have entered up to 2014. See, 
on one hand they are propagating 51 on the other hand they are going to give citizenship to the entrance hindu illegal migrants who have entered up to 2014 very contradictory now, so in assam it's very clear 1951 we had nrc it is updated and so, we are we have we so have a updated are, nrc yeah, based on assam making, record based on law right. and su supervised by the supreme right. court you are making two points there you are making two points there let me clarify one you have no problem with 1951 as the cutoff date for the whole country because Assam NRC was actually made in 1951. Is that correct? No, 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 no. Uh, modalities, it depends upon the government because procedure is laid down in the, in the law. I am concerned about Assam. I am concerned about, about Assam had an NRC and that 51 NRC is updated as per Assam Accord taking 71 electoral as a basis. And it is as per law, it is continuously monitored by the Supreme Court of India. Assam case is very clear. And we want, we, we had demanded the throughout notice there should be NRC and statewide. The, the modalities may vary. The KSC president is rightly said. The modalities may vary statewide. In Meghalaya, the modalities may vary. But we want the NRC. That's, that's the issue. So, and so, whether about the country, so, there is a provision in the law. Right. Now, now, let, now, now Dr. Samajal Bhattasarji, you are saying that it is not compulsory to have a uniform cutoff year for the whole country. That is what you are saying. Modalities can vary. 100% because, because the Assam situation is something different. We had Assam Accord. We had a long moment, historic Assam moment. Right, After right. historic Assam moment, historic Assam Accord was signed. Absolutely. There is a history. You cannot deny Assam Accord. And regarding NRC, we had one NRC. There was no NRC in other parts of the country. So that, that 51 NRC is updated. That is the reality. So, 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 yes. So, you are basically, you are basically saying that it, there need not be an uniform uh, cutoff date. That is what the BJP leaders in Assam are demanding: an uniform cutoff date. But you are saying that it, it, it may vary from state to state because issues are different. That is what the KSU president has also said. KSU president has also said that they want an NRC-like exercise in Meghalaya. That is. So, I'll come back to you, Dr. Samajal Bhattacharji. If I can go to Devabrata, if I can go to Devabrata, Congress leader in Manipur, what is your stand on the nationwide yes. NRC <coughs> in the Manipur context, Devabrata? <coughs> so, the nationwide NR NRC is, it is already there in the, in the Citizenship Act, because in the art, in the Article 41, 14, uh, 14A, yeah. it is mandated that, that government of India should have a register of citizens. So it, uh, okay. it, it has to come. But the All question right. now is, we have already done NRC in Assam. Assam is going to be the benchmark for the nation. If somebody says, responsible person, that, like the Home Minister is saying, or like the finance minister Assam and the Vishwas Sharma demanding a scrape of the NRC, it is very bad for law and the constitutionalism of the country. Okay. You have All to right. first complete it nicely, well, and the, keep a benchmark, a practiced a system, then go for the nationwide. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Deva Prata. Uh, uh, hold on, Deva Prata. Abhijit Sharma, Abhijit Sharma, how, how should, uh, I think we should fix the screen first, we should fix the screen. Abhijit Sharma, uh, you know, how should the process be different? My question is, how should the process be different? What guarantee that the new NRC will be correct? What, what guarantee that the new NRC should be correct? Hachela and his company. It was a pre-planned NRC to make the illegal immigrants Indian. That's why we are saying to stop the scrap the previous NRC published on 31 August 2019. Do an inquiry on the fake document, the duplicate software used in the NRC. Yeah. Corrupt officials yeah. who have been bribed, taken money to enter the name in the NRC. And if this all things is done, and if and if it is done in the all India basis, then I think that we'll get a fresh NRC, good but, NRC. 
But Abhijit Sharma, have you forgotten the fact that the NRC that was just published in Assam was done under the supervision and monitoring of the Supreme Court? Have you forgotten about that? Abhijit Sharma. Yeah, everyone is saying the Supreme Court is monitoring the whole process, but no representative was there from Supreme Court. Only the state coordinator was there and the Supreme Court was there. No representative was there. We are repeatedly we are requesting Supreme Court to form a committee who will monitor the whole process and who will directly contact Supreme Court on behalf of the state coordinator, but the Supreme Court rejected our appeal. Now the thing is that who are the representatives of Supreme Court? Can you tell anyone's name? We are saying Supreme so, Court is monitoring, but who is there in Assam? Abhijit Sharma. The only the state coordinator was there, and who ran away now from Assam? Yes, Okil Ranjan Datta, you wanted to say something, but before that, uh, Abhijit Sharma, you are basically saying that yes, it was a Supreme Court monitor exercise, but there was no representative of the Supreme Court um, lo positioned or located in the state during the entire exercise. Yes, uh, Okil Ranjan Datta. <coughs> No, I, I, I have been listening to uh, Mr. Obhijit Sharma. The moment the NRC has been published, final list been, has been published, his target has always been Pratik Hazela. He has been trying to demonize uh, you know, Pratik Hazela. Can it be an agenda? You know, this is very unfortunate. He has been there for 10 years. It was his petition on the basis of which this NRC has been updated. Now, demonizing a person, demonizing the computer, and based on that, asking for a press NRC, I think this is very, very unfortunate. Sopranil Barwa, what do you have to say? Well, I think it is a Supreme Court monitor affair. We better not say anything at the moment. Uh, yes, the NRC has not yet met our aspirations so far as the party is concerned. We feel that a lot of genuine citizens have been left out and a lot of uh, non-citizens have entered into the road. So we feel that there is a definite reason and scope for revision of the NRC. In whatever way, the modalities will definitely be because the whole decision of the Home Minister yesterday, Honorable Home Minister, was to make a policy announcement. Yeah. He has made a policy announcement and the modalities... Now it has been open for discussion. It has been placed in the parliament. Okay. The representatives of the people will Absolutely. deliberate now, on the issues now, and Mr. we will work Mr. out. Mr. Mr. Ningthoza, Mr. Ningthoza, you know, look at Assam. Now we are talking yes. about a nationwide NRC. Uh, I've got a very simple question, which I was yes. asking others as well, the other panelists. Now, Assam has a population of three crore people. The NRC involved three crore people. Now the ruling party is saying that the, it was an incorrect NRC. Now, now 50,000 state government employees were involved in this whole exercise under the monitoring of the Supreme Court. Now the ruling party is saying it's an incorrect NRC. Now my question is, is it going to be easy? Is it going to be a Herculean task to come up with an NRC in the whole of the country involving 130 crore people? <coughs> Exactly, exactly. Because you see, uh, now after the nationwide, uh, after the, after suppose if the nationwide uh, NRC, you know, it happens, you know, be, uh, it will make the NRC in Assam to be irrelevant. Okay, then we feel that you know, even uh, these people, uh, Mizoram uh, panelists is telling, Mr. Dongal is telling about the cutoff year. For Manipur also, it is a different. It will have a different cutoff year because the foreigners permit system. When Manipur was an independent country, the, por the foreigners' <coughs> permit system, which was once practiced, was abolished is in 1950, November 18. So up to 1915, we had that system. Then after that, migrants keep on coming uh, in our state. So 1951 should be the base year, and it was accepted by the government of Manipur. And we have an agreement with uh, MSHU and MSCOG and the gov state government regarding this matter during the foreigners' issue time. Then after that, again, it was re uh, reaffirmed in 1994. And after that, you know, you see, now also the Manipur people bill is totally based on 1951. So. Every country, sorry, every state will have their own all right. uh, historical all right. cut right. 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 Hang on, I'll have to go for a break, yeah. but before that, very quickly, Professor Dongal, Professor Dongal, I'll have to go for a break very quickly. You know, are you in favor of one cutoff date or not? Uh, many are saying that it is going to be difficult to have one cutoff date. Professor Dongal. Yeah, with regard to this also, I think it is very difficult to generalize. 
and particularly with regard to this NRC light, many documents and many papers will be required. But the problem in Northeast is that many indigenous people, they are occupying the land for the past many centuries, and they are indeed indigenous people, but particularly in tribal area, tribal people, they don't care about documents and papers. That's why there may be uh, some problem also in that regard. And like, in case if 1971 is the cutoff year for Assam, and if different cutoff year is fixed for other states, already there is contradiction also in that regard. So how will the government justify? All right. All right. So, so things are not that easy. I'll come back with this to the panelists after this very, very short break. Don't go away. Welcome back, Abhijit Sharma. Now, we are talking about monitor, monitoring. We are talking about monitoring. Uh, you know, do you have any idea who should be the monitoring authority for the fresh NRC exercise in the country? Is it once again going to be the Supreme Court? There is, the Supreme Court, there is a case going on in Supreme Court. Our APW, our, our case is going on in Supreme Court. The matter is coming on 26th. And on 26th of November, we will, in our affidavit, we are saying, let's stop the process, prepare a new NRC with the with government of India through all over the country. Now, government of India will decide who should be the monitoring committee. We have already suggested a committee. We have written to the RGI, to the Home Ministry and the state government that the monitoring committee, the names are Ranjit Borthakur, we have given, we have given Elias Ali, we have, we are saying uh, Kuladhar Saikia, we are saying Pallab Bhattacharji, we are given the name of Biplav Sharma, we are given the name of Navadeka Borua. These are the some names we have suggested to RGI and the Home Ministry to form a committee to look after the whole new process. All right, committee to look after the pre prepare modalities for the fresh, that is what uh, Abhijit Sharma is basically saying. Uh, Arunav, uh, you know, in this context, now, now, uh, Supreme Court was saying the modalities. Now, unless the modalities are clear, now it is very clear from this discussion in this panel, I'm coming to you, Donald Thaba, uh, you know, that people are not in favor of a uniform cutoff date. Yes. So, the, the main contention will be, the main bone of contention will be the cutoff date. Yes. Of course, cutoff date is a very important because unless and until you see the realities are different. As you say, Manipur has the, the panelists were saying 1951. I think they are talking about uh, 1951. 1951. Again, in Assam, that thing is 1971. Already there in Assam Accord, we cannot have a uniform cutoff date throughout the nation. And again, while talking about modalities, there is another thing that which we have to see while making a pan India NRC. What I am saying that. Making and pen and NRC is relatively easy because there will be a set of protocols, there will be a set of later rules accordingly which the government officials will be knowing what to do. The problem will be the post NRC when there is no laid down modalities, there is no policy decision as to what will happen to those people who will be left out of the NRC. There is no set down rules at that time. That's another thing where the modalities has been made, made before the NRC is carried out throughout the nation. Okay, uh, Okhil Ranjan Datta, uh, 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 you know, I'm coming to you right now, Donald. Uh, Okhil Ranjan Datta, you know, the mo modalities will hold the key because it is easier said than done. Uh, we have the elections in Assam in 2021. Obviously, the fresh, and if Assam is to come under the purview of the new NRC, then this exercise will go well beyond 2021. So it's going to be a hot political issue and the real exercise of coming up with a list of citizens will take a back seat. 
Yeah, that is the point I am telling. That the other issues, all other substantive issues, will be pushed to the periphery. People will not be talking about their food. People will not be talking about nutrition. People will not be talking about land rights. People will not be talking about flood and all. Therefore, I was telling that the whole idea is to imprison the people on the streets. How many times we'll be talking about only about citizen, citizen, and citizenship? Citizenship has a substantive meaning. If you do not get something to eat, something to drink, if you do not have proper health, if you do not have, uh, you know, education, so on and so forth, what will be the meaning of citizenship? I think, therefore, the whole idea of scrapping this NRC and having a new NRC will be a disaster as far as Assam is concerned. So, Donald, what do you think? Do you think it is going to, modalities are the key? Do you think, you know, it is going to be a huge, hot political issue rather than coming up with a list of citizens? How easy or difficult things are, as you see? Well, uh, I could not get your question uh, because it's not clear. And also, it's, I can hear my own voice. So, uh, <coughs> what I want to say is that... Uh, we from the C Students Union, we are not concerned about the cut-off year regarding the rest of India. However, in Meghalaya, the KSU since the early 1990s have been demanding <coughs> for a cut-off year to determine who is a genuine citizen of Meghalaya, and the cut-off year is 1971. So we will not uh, like the cut-off year to be... to cross 1971 above or below. So we would like 1971 to be a cut-off year. And also, uh, like Mr. Dongle had said, that we tribals do not, are not really concerned about documents. Because if I have a patch of land in Meghalaya, then it will be handed down to me by birth through ancestry. So I might not have documents. And yes, uh, traditional institutions also do uh, help the, hold the authority to register land in Meghalaya. So that's why I will uh, stress on again, uh, again that when, if NRC is going to be conducted, the monitoring uh, committee should be from the state itself. Yes, there might be a monitoring community in, in, at the center, which is more or less like the election commission of India, and then we have election committees in the state. I think the best uh, authority to carry out, to conduct the NRC, should be the state government because the state government will understand the aspirations. No, that of is the what they did there, in Assam. It was the state government. Like no, 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 Donald. Donald, let me tell you. Everything. Let me tell you. In Assam, it was the state government which carried out the exercise. But still, the state government is now saying, or leaders of the state government are now saying, that it was an incorrect exercise. Don't please don't forget that. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you, uh, Professor Dongle. Are you in favor of a uniform cut off year? Actually, did you say that? Professor Dongal. Then with regard to this cut of year for Assam, I would like to raise one question. Are the Assamese really satisfied with this cut of year? Have they accepted this as the appropriate cut of year? Are That's the... why with regard to the cut of year also, I think there will be many controversy, many issues. Absolutely, absolutely. We are already hearing this in the panel. Professor Dongal, we are already hearing this. Uh, Sopnil Borua, you know, what uh, Dr. Okhilaranjan Dutta has said and now what Professor uh, Dongal has said, are the Assamese happy with the cut-off year number one? Now, Professor Okhilaranjan Dutta is saying that, you know, it will be just be politics. People are not going to talk about anything, but only bother about the NRC, because if there is a fresh NRC, it will well surpass 2021 state elections when this will be the hot topic and there will be nothing else discussed. No, no issues affecting the Ahmadmi. Oh, well, I uh, disagree with Dr. Doctor in the sense that uh, people are always concerned more about their personal matters and what they expect from the state. And that uh, the NRC matters or citizenship matters will definitely not will they have? It. Will they have time to think about anything else? Because no, everybody I, I will be think thinking about having their names in the NRC. No, that is what I am saying is that before they think about their names in NRC, it would not have been uh, that so many people have been left out. So many indigenous people have not even applied. Or let us say in the tribal districts of Assam, a lot of people have been, didn't even apply to be included in the NRC. So all that contention, if you say that personal, I mean, citizenship is something of a tremendous issue so far as 
each individual citizen is concerned, I don't think. But as a collective uh, group of people, I think the people are concerned about their citizenship and so that non-citizens should not take over affairs of a state. That so, point we are very clear. Okay. Okay. Abhijit Sharma, what is your stand on the cut-off date? Abhijit Sharma, your stand on the cut-off date? Sir, we are very clear on it. If it is 71, then it is 71. If it is 51, then it is 51. But we want to clear the thing. On 13th August 2019, the previous Chief Justice, Justice Ranjan Gogoi, in his judgment, on the 18 number clause in page number 13, he has clearly written, this NRC will be completed after the judgment of 562 of the 2012 Hong Milita Mahasangha. Our case is going on in the Constitution Bank, whether it should be 1971 and 1951. So let's wait for that case. Okay. Let's wait for the judgment of that case. Okay. We'll wait for the judgment of that case. Uh, Abhijit Sharma, I'm coming back to you. Uh, Devabharata, uh, you know, what is the, what, do, as a Congress leader from Manipur, Devabharata, do you think uh, that it is going to be, the whole issue is going to be politicized sooner than later? And, uh, you know, the modalities and the other things uh, will take a back seat at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we may or may not have a correct NRC. Uh, do you have such fears or do you think everything is hunky-dory? Uh, the, the matter has been already politicized. Because, you see, we are, we are uh, f f facing problems of... Uh, not <coughs> Naga PCSU, then then CAB, then the C NRC again. It is a whole lot like the game, the card like the card game. You are shuffling the card that you don't know nothing what is happening. So, as as <coughs> my colleague Lanza already said, you first complete the NRC in Assam. You address the grievances, the tribunals you set up, heard the appeals, and see what happened. Then, if you want to have a national-wide NRC, stop, stop the CAPE, CAB. Because CAPE is ultra-virus, the Assam record, because it, because it is against the Assam record. Because in Citizenship Act, insert, Article 6A was inserted because of Assam record. Okay. And the CAPE 2019 right. is defying all right. the contents of the 6A. C right. Right. Now, uh, it is going to be very bad for law and for constitutionality of the country. Okay. Uh, hold your thoughts. Today you are speaking about CAP. Tomorrow you are speaking about the uh, NRC, national NRC. The, what is happening in the country today? It is politicalized. Politicized. Okay. Hold on. No hold one on. knows what to do next. Ningtoza. So in the panel today, we are discussing about the technicalities. Technicalities, it will be the... It, it will be the... It, Leave it to the experts. Leave it but to we the must experts. Talk about the sensibility about the issues that we are raising. Now, Ningtoza, Ningtoza, you know, D Donald Thaba, the leader of the KSU, Khasi Students Union, he is saying that, and he is raising another very important yes. issue. He is saying that in the Northeast, the tribal people, <laughs> th that is what uh, <coughs> Professor Dongal from Mizoram has also said. Tribal people have been inheriting land from their ancestors. You know, from generations they have been occupying land, but they, they may not have the proper documents. But this NRC exercise is an exercise that is based on documents. It's a document-driven exercise. So do you think that is going to be a very difficult task for the people in the tribal belts in the northeastern region? Yeah. Yeah, in, in, in Manipur also, you see that there are so many days. Uh, if we go for the legacy data or uh, some other documents, you know, it will be really difficult for them, you know, to produce. Okay, but we already accepted the Manipur People Bill. The, the, the different communities of Manipur already agreed upon the Manipur People Bill. That is, 
uh, the, the, the cutoff year of which is 1951. So there will, there will uh, never be a contentious, it will never be a contentious issue for Manipur and for other states of uh, Northeast, you know, it will happen. But so the modalities, you know, we have to, uh, I mean, we have to, uh, what you call, confirm only after discussing with the local people, then after that we can fix the modalities, we can fix the frame of the energy, you know. In that case, you know, it, it, it reveals that there will be different types of modalities in the whole country. That's why we are telling that it will be a very challenging task, but even then we need it. But it should not be used, it should not be politi politicized, you know to befool the people <coughs> about the present issue that is yes. the CAB issue. So, uh, do, do Dr. Okilranjan Datta, Okilranjan Datta. CAB is scrap. Yeah, Professor Okilranjan Datta, yes. Yeah, I, I think Professor Dongal has mentioned something. Yeah, Professor Dongal has pointed out some very interesting things about Northeast India. Now, NRC is a state exercise. It's a bureaucratic state exercise and its modalities are based in conformity with state's understanding of documents. But as far as North East is concerned, tribal communities are concerned, <laughs> they define everything in terms of community, in terms of resources. And resources and community are something very different, where the legal documents are not very important things in life. <laughs> now, if you go along with the state-driven NRC exercise, right. what will happen to the communities is basically de-enfranchising them. You are not actually giving them citizenship. It will be like de-enfranchising okay. uh, them. Arnav, very so quickly, that will again be a very disaster what, uh, kind of thing Dr. as far as the community of North East India is concerned. Yes, got your sense. Oh. Yeah, Arnav. Yeah, doctor, doctor is very correct. Because such yeah. a document-driven yeah, exercise yes, cannot I have be done carried it. out yeah. in such tribal societies as in North East India, where it's <coughs> the, there is total dirt of documents, the resources are with the community rather than with the individual, and that should not be done. And in case of Assam, I would like to repeat what the former Chief Justice Ranjan Gogo has said. He has said this is a base document for the future. So if there is a pan-India NRC, instead of scrapping the current NRC of Assam, a rule scrutiny should be done and this should not be totally scrapped. Absolutely, you are right because that is what uh, the former Chief Justice had said, that the present NRC Assam can be a base document. So, so there is an argument that this uh, present NRC yeah. need not be or should not be scrapped and that it can be corrected, revamped or modified. That is what uh, Dr. Samujal Bhattasarji had also said, remedial think, measures. That's the, one point, yes, I think, Sopranil, yes. I think one I, I thing think we'll have we to revive is that PIO, the, the point, people of uh, indigenous origin issue which was there in the Assam NRC, somehow got uh, dropped in the due process, which I feel that once we do a national exercise, this will definitely come up again. And even in the revision process of the Assam NRC, this uh, point will again come up, that you All have right. to All right. allow for certain concessions or, or no, for people no, of indigenous origin absolutely. who don't have documents. Absolutely. Now, Mr. Abhijit Sharma, you know, uh, the, the union home minister had also said that, you know, those 19 lakh people whose names are not there, uh, anybody from among those 19 lakh people who had no uh, financial means to engage lawyers, the state government will pay for them. Now, my question is simple. If if the current NRC has to be scrapped as demanded by the uh, ruling party leaders in Assam, why should anybody go to the tribunals at this particular stage when we are talking about a fresh NRC? What do you think? Exactly. Abhijit exactly. Sharma. Exactly. I don't know why the Home Minister yesterday telling about this thing. I think he is not briefed clearly. So, we, if this NRC is scrapped, then no use of, no use of harassing the 13, 19 lakh people. So the 19 lakhs names will be invalid now. So I don't no, think I why he is saying what against the that. What the Home Minister said was that, that, that this that is that a conceptually they, they, they are be, going to go they about will it. Be held. Not they will that be held. There are four legal, legal, uh, legal side will be looking look over them. I don't think this is required now. Okay. Uh, Sopranil Borwa. No, what, what I was trying to say is that the Home Minister has made a policy announcement. It is not that, that it will be implemented and I think don't he has not committed that it will begin from this year or that year or something of that sort. He, conceptually, the government feels the need for an NRC throughout the country right. and on the basis of the Assam experience and even for Assam, while the okay. modalities are finally being prepared, yeah. but the exercise must go on. Right. Because no, no, no. it's an it's a issue of national importance Absolutely. that people who have genuine Indian citizens may have been left out and so they must be given an opportunity, opportunity. to defend their now, case. Now, now, I'm running short of time. Professor Dongal, uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah had said that NRC should not be clubbed 
should not be seen together with uh, cap citizenship amendment bill because he says that these are two different things now are you among those who see a link between the two professor dongle very much very much because in nrc uh, they try to confirm the indigenous citizens with certain documents and certain papers but through this cab if step has been taken up to grant citizenship to some minority communities hindu communities buddhist or jains yeah. or some communities yes. in pakistan bangladesh and afghanistan is it not contradicting the very concept of this nrc that's why i think in this regard also this cab provision and nrc they are contradicting each okay other. okay now again so, again again exactly. yeah again professor dongal my final question to you for a small tribal state like mizoram what could be the challenges in preparing an nrc my final question to you professor dongal so some civil societies and senior citizens also sometime they feel that to take infiltrators from across the border nrc may be appropriate steps to be taken up in the state yeah but there is no consensus view in this regard all That's right why even if nrc has been enforced what i feel is that if cab is enforced again is it not contradicting the purpose of nrc absolutely Because on one hand <coughs> steps have been taken up to confirm the indigenous citizens but on the other hand if absolutely outsiders absolutely from the international borders are given citizenship is it not contradicting the purpose that's all what right. i feel all right all right donald thaba your concluding remarks how do you see the road ahead donald thaba in shillong donald your final comments can you please repeat the question the question uh, your the final, final comments comment, uh, your final comments how do you see the road ahead what how do you see th things developing in the days ahead <clears throat> uh, well uh, you see uh, if it is with regards to the proposed nationwide nrc uh, then if it is being monitored in delhi then we are against it however if the uh, nrc <clears throat> will be carried out based on the modality suggested by the state government monitored by the state government with a cut off year yeah. which is acceptable to the genuine citizens of the state then all right that is okay. uh, acceptable to us okay. but however i've heard someone mention about very CAB. quickly very quickly you see if we conduct an rc but if cab is there then Okay. People who are coming from Bangladesh, right. they the will sense. be the sense. getting it, citizenship if, there and then in an instant. Be, the, it, so it'll, 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 uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Donald. Thank you, Ningthosa. Uh, uh, what are okay, uh, uh, Deva Brata? What are your final comments, Deva Brata? Your concluding remarks. Very uh, quickly, ten seconds. An RC for the whole nation is good idea, but we have to complete first uh, the Assam NRC. Any revision? tribunals all the process has to be completed set an example for the whole country but meanwhile stop or scrap cab this this is contradictory to the present okay Hassan okay okay so most of the panelists are saying that scrap that cab but continue with the nrc process ningthosa your final remarks ningthosa okay this this are very uh, distinct two different things cab is granting citizenship to the un unidentified citizens and nrc is a process to verify about the citizenship of an of an individual you know so it should be mix of you know nrc we can do we can detect and we can verify the citizen but at the same time please don't try at least to legalize the settlement and providing uh, any kind of uh, what to call constitutional provision to the illegal immigrants in the name okay. of all right. anything all right you know? so uh, Arnav, we, what are we your, never uh, want parting, to mix up the comments. two things thank you yeah, i'll comments. just say that use the present assam energy as a base document do not scrap it completely and if a pen india energy is going to be prepared also prepare modalities for the post energy situation absolutely don't scrap use that as a base document the present energy stop sopnil borwa uh, last words well we should all have a national level nrc 
the modality should be very clearly laid out and the reconciliation of the reality and the legal needs is the challenge and there should not be a rush job as we were allowed to, we were compelled to do in Assam. Don't do a rush job, be rational and the need for a national identity. Okay, Ranjan Datta, last words to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with most of the panelists. Uh, take NRC, Assam NRC is a base document. Go for its corrections and revisions wherever necessary. Scrap cap and start concentrating on the day-to-day -day security of the common people and think about the future uh, so that everybody can live with dignity. Absolutely. So you think about the future so that everybody can live with dignity. And we had a very engaging uh, discussion. I will come back with another episode of Northeast tonight at 5 p.m. on Saturday with a new topic and a new set of panelists. And thank you for watching Northeast tonight. Good night and goodbye. Northeast Tonight, brought to you by Oil India Limited, conquering newer horizons.